Solar structure, multiple people inside, as many as seven, partial building collapse. A crash left three people dead and at least one other in critical condition after a car slammed through a blood plasma donation center in Pittsburgh's Manchester neighborhood. Good evening and thanks for joining us and welcome to those of you watching on CBS and Pittsburgh. I'm Royce Jones tonight. Police are trying to figure out what happened while some of those who were there say they're lucky to be alive. Jessica Gway has been following this story all day. She joins us live to catch us up. Jess. Royce, this was such a scary incident. People were kindly donating plasma here when a car coming down Western Avenue plowed all the way into the building and a fire started. Three people were killed and one person is fighting for their life in the hospital. It was a tragic Saturday in Pittsburgh. A car barreled into Biomat USA Plasma Center in the city's Manchester neighborhood. About 10 employees and five donors were inside. The car is about, I would say, 200 feet within the building. It was an intense scene just after 11.30 a.m. First responders rushed to put out a fire and search for victims. We have multiple casualties, and uh, firefighters and EMS are currently inside right now still looking for uh, more victims. Three people are dead. One of them was in the car. One person is critically injured, and another has minor injuries. Many others were evaluated on scene. A paramedic and two firefighters were treated for smoke inhalation. Witnesses told police the Hyundai Santa Fe was traveling at a high speed before crashing. The car had to be doing over 100. The whole building started rumbling. The damage to the building is substantial. There was concern of a structural collapse. I don't believe it'd be a total collapse. Uh, there's a lot of suspended ceiling that has dropped down. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of water inside. Biomat USA released a statement saying, in part, they're saddened by the incident and grateful for the first responders and employees who acted quickly. The charred vehicle was removed and the gaping hole in the building was patched up. You wake up every morning and you don't know what's going to happen to you. And, you know, whether it's walking down the street or giving blood, it, you know, it's a tragedy. Like I say, the first responders did everything they could to save, save uh, those individuals that were in the building. Cleanup and restoration crews have been here for hours at this point. We don't know what caused the crash. Pittsburgh police are investigating. Live in Manchester, Jessica Gway, Katie, KA News.